All right, joining us for the cool down this week is Gerald McCoy, one of my favorites on the Ross. You tired, Gerald? Nope. Not tired? Nah. How's it been to get back on the practice field after the week that you guys are coming off of to help set the tone mm -hmm. for what's coming up? Well, it's great. You know, uh, being one of the elder statesmen, um, playing a lot of snaps in this league, uh, playing games where I've been beat down before. Um, I got to be one of the guys that sets the tone and brings the energy regardless. I know like on the internet, a lot of people gave me a hard time for my pregame speech, but one thing people are gonna learn about me is that I keep the same energy regardless. Win, lose, or draw. I'm gonna say the exact same thing we play Tennessee. Like, hey, we ready for whoever, bring it. We just didn't play well enough last week. We just can't let it happen two weeks in a row. Well, we heard Luke say it, you're kind of echoing that, that you can say all that you want, but yeah. you have to get out there and set the tone. Absolutely. So this week at practice, has it been a more intense week? Has it been a more focused week for you guys out there? Well, I wouldn't say more intense or more focused, but there's no hangover of last week. And that's what you, you know, have the risk of after losing a game like that. You know, you'll remember it in your career, like, man, I remember that time we played San Fran, got our butts kicked. but. When we came back that next week, we dominated Tennessee, yeah. and that's what we want our story to be. Well, you're talking about Tennessee, this team that I think mm -hmm. a lot of people, they're one of the mystery teams in the NFL mm -hmm. now because they don't have the quarterback that they've had for years. Right. Ryan Tannehill's in there. You know, yeah. They're going to these rookies. They're now on this two-game win streak. When you guys are looking at the Tennessee Titans, what is it that you guys are preparing for, looking for, and, and who are you going to be facing this weekend? Well, you know, they've got some dominant players on the defensive side that, you know, some notable guys, guy I know for real is uh, Jarrell Casey, you know, he's a D lineman, so you know, you always got to count for him on the offensive side, but on the defensive side, uh, Ryan Tannehill's been a starter in this league, so it's not like he's a guy that don't have experience, so we're approaching him as if he's been a starter from day one, and uh, we know they want to run the ball, Derrick Henry's a dominant running back yeah. in this league, and uh, he showed last year he's got the speed to take it 100 yards if necessary. So, I think we've seen that replay. Absolutely. Replayed and replayed. Absolutely. Yeah, we've seen that before. We're good. It's made the top 100 <laughs> plays of all time. So It was good, though. Yeah, it, it was, was a good. great play. So we know what we face it. We know they want to run the ball. We just got to be prepared for anything. All right, so let's do some superlatives here for your defensive line, okay? Yes. So most likely to pay for the bill when all of you guys go out to dinner. Who's the one that's like, me. hey, man, I got you? Me. I figure. That me. Is, you, you or, are my vote Honestly, me or KK. When we went out to eat the first time, KK handled the bill. Okay. So, yeah. All right, on the flip side of that, mm -hmm. uh, most likely to conveniently get a very important phone call when it's time to pay for that bill. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Cox. <laughs> calling him out. Absolutely yeah. calling him out. All right, let's go class clown. Class clown? Yeah. Um, Mario Addison. Oh, he has a funny one. All right, best yes. dressed. Me? Why are we it. even questioning it? <laughs> That's not a question. We Listen, we're asking questions we don't know the answer to. Yeah, all right. Um, most likely to win a dance competition. Me? Come on. Okay, I can't cool. answer it. Listen, I'm great. I'm just trying to tell you that. Listen, I, okay. it's hard to build on perfection, but I try daily. So, I won't say me, I'll okay. say Vernon Butler, he okay. loves to dance. He does. I, we see him a lot, like the whoa is yeah. his thing right now. Like, yeah. yeah, so I'll give it to Vernon just because okay. I can't keep saying me. Okay, okay. And then most likely to win a race. There's a lot of fast guys Ooh. on that line. Who, who are you saying most likely to be crowned the fastest defensive lineman? Young Mario, but for now, right okay. now. Okay. Oh. So it's a big moment. There's going to be bragging rights in the locker room. Oh my right gosh, here. young Bruce is ridiculously fast too. Bruce still can roll, but Bruce got old knees too. <laughs> so, Burnsy can okay. run, but okay. I gotta go Marquise Haynes. Okay, Marquise Haynes, there you yeah. go. Right here from Jared McCoy is the fastest defensive lineman. I'll, I'll follow up on that. See yes, yes. About it. Thank yes. you so much for joining All right. us. Thanks, Joe. <laughs>